Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome to Renault Trucks HQ here in North Dublin. We're waiting on the arrival of Bruno Blin. He is doing the official opening of Satanta House, big Renault dealership here in North Dublin. So we've got a fantastic lineup of trucks here. Look at the Magnum here, and we have Ku Cullen, the T High, and we've got the new T High here as well. So such a selection of trucks to show you around. And we have a Renault T here as well from Donegal Groupage. There you go, he's just pulling in. So let me just take you down here because they've such a lineup set up here for the grand opening. It's really well done. And you'll see a lineup of T High 520s down here as well. They've got the full range here C Series, D Series, Premiums, and we've got five more T Highs here as well. 181s. <laughs> There you go. So yeah, we will wait for the arrival of Bruno Blin and let's get this Renault truck dealership open. Let's now talk about the steering adjustment on these Renault T's and Renault T highs. Some of you watching will know that they had bad steering adjustment. It could never be tilted back properly to you, which resulted in the driver having to lean forward more than they would want to and then becoming uncomfortable driving the truck. Well, I'm glad to say it's finally fixed on these newly revised trucks. Look at the adjustment on this, look. Look at this for a tilt. Now that is a good job. So finally Renault have given the customer what they wanted, which was good steering adjustment. And it's in these trucks. We've waited a long time for that. So we've got the T520 Evo. So this is the latest addition to the Renault trucks. And you can see just the differences here in the front. And we have LED headlights here with the indicator repeaters as well. And different grille design. And you see the badge? The badge is actually slightly bigger than the previous model here. So if you were to look at the badge on the Magnum here, always nice to see a Magnum, but it's, they didn't want it as big as that. So they went slightly bigger than this, and this is the new badge. And it even has a kind of a smoked look to it now. So yeah, slightly bigger, but yeah, nice color on this four x two, the DTI 13 T High 520 and a wheel there sitting up that'll be mounted there on the truck i'm sure yeah so we're just gonna hop inside uh yeah i'll hop into this one here this is left hand drive on the evo and i'll then oh yeah i'll show you the screen here so on the left hand drive t highs and t's this screen is built into the dashboard so on the right hand drive versions it's sitting up on top of the dashboard so you would say to yourself, why is that the case? Well, I have no idea. <laughs> that is the short answer. And this is handy for your mobile phone here, look. You can slot it in there, look. And yeah, very well designed that. I do like that. And yeah, I don't really see a whole lot more difference on the inside, just maybe the piano black with the red stripes. And we have red stitching there on the steering wheel and all of the red around the air vents there as well. Um, everything else looks pretty much the same on the interior you can fold up that bunk I do like that so you can store stuff up on the top bunk and uh, we do have a nice mattress topper there as well that's quite good but of course the flat floor we always like the flat floor on the trucks so easy to keep clean as well 
just literally wipe it with a cloth yeah so that's it and I showed you already the steering adjustment fantastic we can finally have good steering adjustment okay as we hop out of the DTI 13 T High 520 I'm just gonna hop into this right hand drive version now you'll notice this one does not have the badges at the side so it's 400 euro to have no badges or 200 euro if you want the red badges in black that's 200 euro extra so let's just hop into Ku Cullen here they have it nicely done up this is Renault trucks own truck that they give out to customers just to test drive yeah it's on the Alcoa aluminium wheels so let's just hop inside same flat floor of course and the recaro seats oh yeah they have a nice sign there at the back wall as well but this is what i'm talking about look on the right hand drive this screen is sitting on top of the dashboard so and of course this one doesn't have the good steering adjustment as the new evos so yeah unfortunately um that is uh not good because of lot i mean this would cost renault sales if you're an owner driver and if you can't adjust the steering wheel properly are you gonna buy the truck probably not and we have the two electric trucks here as well hopefully I'll get a spin in one of them and as you probably spotted in the introduction we are after buying a new Renault T so I'll have a video coming up on that a full tour and test drive and we'll be comparing it to the 2018 one that we have as well I'll just show you some of the differences so yeah let's um oh yeah i'm gonna hop into the magnum there's a magnum right beside us let's hop in and have a look at that it is starting to rain so <laughs> everybody is running for cover now so yeah let's hop into the magnum of course we have the steps behind the front wheel and the two grab handles and handle is underneath here so yeah as i showed before it's a bit awkward to climb up with uh <laughs> holding the camera but i'll give it a go um <laughs> Here we go. We're in, we're in, we're in. So there you have. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know that the bed here was a kind of a leatherette finish. Top bunk as well. Yeah. And that looks like a big uh, sunroof there as well. I've not hopped into one of these now for a long time. And look at the wood on the dashboard, look. Let me just close the door here. And yeah, this is a, uh, this feels very strange or something huh but it is they do have a big windscreen i do like the visibility out of here uh maybe that mirror shouldn't be up against the pillar there but uh yeah there's good visibility out over the left and the right here as well that mirror should be positioned further away from the pillar but of course all of these were improved as the years went on but yeah it's always uh nice to hop into a magnum Oh, we got the manual gearbox as well on this. Yeah, and even the seats are all leather as well. But uh, yeah, it's quite strange <laughs> sitting in the... But it is a kind of a weird looking dashboard, isn't it? Look at the... the look how flat it is. Look, the taco. Yeah, it is a bit weird, but I suppose it was all done just for better visibility outside. And yeah, it's... Now I did drive one of these, I already have a video shot on one of these, if you want to check it out, I'll flash up the link there shortly. But there you have it, uh, the Renault Magnum. This is just the 430, there's also a V8 here as well, so I can't open that one. But there you have it, the Renault Magnum. And uh, yeah, there was always a saying with the Renault Magnum is uh, that any driver of a Renault Magnum had a dirty steering wheel why because when you would hop into the truck using those outside handles which would get filthy you'd hop into the truck and then yeah you'd have a filthy steering wheel because of it <laughs> that was one of the old sayings there with the Renault Magnum uh, just looking for the handle there but um, yeah I, I, I better not hop out or will I I'll give it a go I'll give it a go um, I'll <laughs> I, uh, I'm trying to grab a handle here yeah there we have it and down on the steps all right we're we're off we're off okay let me just uh yeah so still loads of people inside and lovely barbecues here as well let me just show you this quickly 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 uh this big green egg this is a london taxi converted and look you cook food on the back as well so call big green egg if you want him at your event and look he's got some more stuff brewing there as well so that was a 
Renault Magnum and the two T-highs. Coo Cullen there looking very well. So that's how it looks. I think it's time to hop inside and go for a spin in one of their full electric trucks. Okay, so I'm just hopping into Renault's new full electric. So this is the D series. This is 16 ton gross. Indeed. And I'm joined here by Andy, who's gonna fill me in on all the details. And Andy, the truck is running. It is. You can't hear anything, well, obviously. Right, Andy, absolutely. And this is, <laughs> we, 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 huh? we, we talk about the benefits of, of an electric vehicle and we forget that, that the, one of the greatest benefits is, is how quiet it is. Yeah, and it's showing first gear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Handbrake off. And yeah. Away we go. Oh. Try not to can run you hear, over. Can you hear just a slight bit of a... Can you hear that? <laughs> okay, let's set off here. Now Andy, can you tell the viewers you had this on a trial on the M25 in the UK? We did indeed. Um, we, yeah. we wanted to prove the, the, the performance of the vehicle Stavros in, in the real situation. What better challenge than, than to take it around the M25? So we took it there, we put three ton payload in, which is fairly typical. This, this vehicle um, as designed has a six ton payload, um, designed for urban operations, urban distribution, the conventional sort of home to uh, home to home deliveries from, from a, a local base or indeed home to, uh, distribution center to, to store. So if you're not aware, the M25 is 189 kilometers long, roughly 120 miles. Um, we went around that on a Friday, a few weeks back. Uh, my colleague Mike Stringer was part of that team. Count Mike was there providing the technical support. Uh, we got around it with 39% of battery still available at the end of that. So this this vehicle has 265 kilowatt hour batteries on for 66 packs, um, and we had 39% of the available charge available at the end of that journey. And what's the net? Of the net of that will be about 211. So we used 20% of the battery uh, capacity to manage okay. its life, uh, giving us 80% to work with. Oh, look at that! It actually br Watch! I took my foot off the accelerator. Look! Will it come to a complete stop? Will it? Will it? Yes, it will. <laughs> there we are, Stavros. <laughs> it's yeah, a, it still feels as if it's rolling a tiny little bit. Very fraction, but yes. But no, it's... Um, but it, I it's, like that, I like that. And it's an important point to say, actually, we... I'm not going to criticise you driving, Stavros, but... But with, <laughs> with driver training, we would suggest yeah. that, that actually you need to use the foot pedal almost not at all. Yeah, so like single we, pedal we've got the We've got the engine, uh, we've got the, the, the brake on the side of the steering column, the five stage regenerative brake, and each time you use that, you're bringing more of the energy back into the battery, so adding to, to yeah, the I capability. It there. It's very, it's very, very strong, sharp, isn't it? yeah. And Andy, can you tell me what is the charging? So DC, AC? This, this vehicle has an onboard charger, uh, as does the, the sister one, the, the 26 ton version. Um, we can charge either at 22 kilowatt hours AC or up to 120, 150 sorry, kilowatt hours DC. So no issues about the number of charges, no issues about uh, how many times you charge uh, or for what duration. As long as you charge at up to those two levels, 22 kilowatts or, or 150, yeah. you can do it as, as, as often as you like. What we recommend is, is, is thinking about energy rather than the number of charges. So uh, part of our offer is to provide a battery promise that extends to up to 10 years, or in this case, this vehicle we would give up to 300 megawatt hours of total delivered energy. Part of my team, Stavros, will, will help operators calculate how much energy they're gonna use in their businesses, and then we'll give them the, the best fit for their needs. Yeah, because Andy, they can't really be relying on the public network for charging because um, they'll be waiting beside other trucks um, <laughs> along with other people charging cars and then you come in to charge your electric truck and sure you could be there for two hours plus it's, it's a bit of a, a bit of a challenge certainly they, they the truck is designed for for back to base use there's no question that that's the, the the opportunity that's there but an operator who wants to fast charge the vehicle during the day could could charge this in, in less than an hour and a half from from yeah. zero to to fully charged again um, using a 150 kilowatt charger. When interesting, you say because when we did the M25 uh, trip, uh, we had to park across three car charge bays in order to get this charged, okay. uh, which made us very unpopular with the Tesla drivers. <laughs> yeah, you must have been there for a while, all right. Well, we weren't charging it from scratch, so it was okay. But yeah. uh, just the beginning and the end of the journey. But yeah, the. Um 
you know, I keep saying it about uh, electric vehicles, like, it's, it's just the smoothness. You, you know, th there's no, like, rattly vibrations of the engine underneath you, and it's, and like, the single pedal driving, watch this now, no, br no brake pedal, watch this, guys, up to the roundabout. I'm not pressing the brake pedal at all. I'm doing this on the accelerator. No brake pedal. And that's 53 kilometers down to 16. Look at that. Down to 11. I still not pressing the brake pedal. And there we are. Four, five. Foot nine. on accelerator the whole time. So yeah, single pedal driving. I've always said it about electric vehicles. It's fantastic, and that's why I can't understand why some manufacturers are not fitting single pedal driving to all of their vehicles. Some are, some aren't. I don't know the thinking why you wouldn't fit it, but. Andy, this is a surprise for me now. I didn't realise that it was going to be in this truck. We say that the, the, the best drivers will get the best performance of an electric vehicle. Yeah. And, and it, the dynamic changes from, from a miles per gallon to, to an energy used. What, what we'll be able to do through, through the telematic system is show how much regenerative energy you've created through your driving style. So it's, oh, it's a much... Right. You can so monitor we'll, that. We'll, absolutely. The same way that you can monitor a combustion engine Correct. truck. Ah, yes. So you'll be gathering data from people's performances driving these trucks. Correct. Ah, yes. Brilliant. And that will help you into the future. Well, that'll help us into research the future, and development. We need, we need to, to conserve energy as much as we can. So the more yeah. that we can recover, if, if you're braking, you're wasting energy. Yeah. If the engine's doing it, you're recovering that, that, that sort of energy from the momentum of the vehicle back into the battery yeah. to use at a, at a later time. Just a, a win-win wheel. But yeah, so you had you had thirty nine percent once you finished the M twenty five route. It would be um, handy if you put on the extra four ton <laughs> just to find out. Would it still be thirty nine percent? It wouldn't be thirty nine. Huh? What we found actually, no, no, it'd be a lot less. It'd be a lot less. Huh? But but actually, that's part of what we do in in terms of working with every operator. We will calculate how much energy the vehicle is going to use, and that's what gives the confidence to 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 introduce them yes. to their fleet. And Andy, how much is it going to cost for our transport operators to fit chargers to their premises? Well, a typical charger, the typical 22 kilowatt AC charger is probably two and a half thousand pounds. And we've got, a, we've got a number of companies that we're working with, um, companies that we trust and we, yeah. we think work the same way we do. Now, my, my view, Savros, is, is find somebody who's as committed to electric as you are yeah. and work with them. And Andy, I don't know what the situation is in the UK, right? But in Ireland, if you want an electric car charger fitted at your place of work, you don't get a grant. I had one fitted to our premises at Rory Lynch Transport. Couldn't get a grant. It's a very modest grant in the UK. It's uh, it's not it's not going to buy you a big Christmas present for the kids. I have to say. Yeah, but that needs to change. I we have we have a government that um, seems reluctant to invest in electric. There's a lot of mm. there's a lot of noise and a lot of uh, a lot of press releases, but uh, not so much money on the ground. I'm afraid to say. It's very like the premium here, all of the switches and the it's, dashboard here. Yeah. Stavros, genuinely it's designed to be as, as familiar as possible. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, as you've discovered, the dynamics of driving an electric yeah. vehicle are very similar to those of driving a diesel. If you drive a diesel well, you'll drive an electric well. But we want to make it as, as familiar as possible because people, people want to adopt these quickly without, you know, it's, it's not a rocket ship. It's a truck. It's got a day's work to do, and we want to make yeah. that as easy as possible. We'll obviously provide driver training to make sure everybody understands the controls, how to make the best use of the vehicle. But frankly, if you're a good driver, you'll be a good electric driver. Yeah. But and obviously, even with six ton on, it would still be good power off. Oh, it feels yeah. it feels very lively indeed. And yeah. uh, we've had a one or two of the the city operators just say, "Ooh." Mm. Yeah. This is this is this no, quick. No, no yeah. shortage of power. It's the ability to just get into those little gaps that you might not be able to do fully loaded in the diesel. So yeah, just one of the the other benefits of, of electric trucks, Deborah. So back from our drive in the D series, full electric. Now let me just show you around there. Low entry cab. So this is new to the market. So really easy to climb in and out of. I'll show you that now. But let's just have a look at all of the underpinnings there for the electric battery pack so yeah the very same size battery pack as the truck we were just driving in yeah 265 kilowatt hour but yeah takes up an awful lot of space on the chassis but I suppose as all of these electric vehicles are more developed these will become smaller and maybe you'll be able to have some locker space there on the side as well 
on your truck so yeah you can see there the low step so I'm size 11 <laughs> that's my foot up to the first step big wide step look how wide that is look so really easy to climb in and out of and yeah you've even got a flat floor in this as well completely flat and of course you have the visibility there out through the window these are electric windows by the way and they slide back you know so yeah you can open them <laughs> not downwards but they do slide which is quite good yeah more or less the same dashboard as the one we were driving in this one has cameras all around it as well so they're monitored through that screen there yeah this one has three seats as well all with seat belts of course and yeah this would be very good as a refuse truck or even a, a tipper truck you could easily configure it that way but yeah there you have it two full electric trucks from Renault this is the way the future is going it's a long way off though a long way off I mean it's almost like a balancing act how much more research and development do they put into diesel engines and then into full electric so yeah still quite interesting to take a drive in them and as you can imagine very very smooth on the road as well yeah so there you have it the D series from Renault full electric so I am now joined by president of Renault trucks this is the boss this is Bruno Blon yes we are a very dynamic brand and uh, yes it's uh, it for us uh, to be close to the customer it's it's the key yeah because to be able to serve to serve them in a good way then here we have a fantastic example uh, of a dealership which mm. is absolutely great because good backup service sells trucks exactly no question about it but and what have um, Renault's sales been to date now like say this year so far in 2021 yeah. what you know, are 20, the sales 21 is a, is a very special year because in fact we are limited by the supply yes uh, then we are reaching a, 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 a roof because uh, it's difficult to supply and it's difficult to get uh, components to be able to produce but we will we will have a, a pretty good year right yeah I'm sure I'm sure the year is not ended mm -hmm. then we will see at the end of the year but I, I'm sure that uh, we will have a, a pretty good uh, pretty good year 2021 yeah and Bruno, um, you fixed the steering wheel. Yeah. yeah look at that. <laughs> I think we have. I think we have the, the best one. From yeah. Now, huh? it, look at it. Look. Yeah. Look how much it tilts back. Yeah. That is. Yeah. I don't think any driver can complain yeah. now, ah, Bruno. And you can you can drive as a, as a car, you know. <laughs> huh? Right, rightly laid back there, huh? But Bruno, thanks a lot for chatting with me. Thank you. It was nice and, to talk to you. Yeah, and um, thanks a lot for coming across to Ireland and opening up Satanta House. Bye-bye. Cheers, thank you, thanks. And that's where I'm gonna wrap it up today from Renault Trucks here in Dublin. Really enjoyed this event at Satanta House. So I do hope you enjoyed looking around the brand new Evo and of course the full electric trucks here, the D-Series. Yeah, really nice event and probably around 300 people I reckon attended this event so really nice to catch up with a lot of people that I haven't seen in years as well but yeah I do hope you enjoyed the video please do give it a thumbs up and I'll chat to you all again next time for another video thanks for watching cheers so I am now joined by Bruno Brill Blin sorry cause <laughs> cause <laughs> Blanc 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 I know it's difficult for you to pronounce Blanc E-N Blanc 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 Blanc. 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 Blanc.